New details on the Paris terror attack, attack suspect now in custody. Salah Abdeslam now telling investigators that he had access to several weapons and was planning new operations from Brussels. We're also learning he might have had another accomplice in the Paris attacks. Belgian officials identify him as a 24-year-old living under an alias whose DNA was found at an address raided by Belgian police last week. They are now urging the public to help track him down. Let's talk about it with Michael Balboni, the former Homeland Security Advisor for New York State. You have dealt with this kind of thing a lot. I mean, the prospect of terror. I mean, it happened in New York, obviously. Um, but to read some of the details of the capabilities of ISIS in places like Paris is really frightening to a civilian like me. Some of the things that really startled a lot of people was the, the size of the network. You know, a lot of times we look at these events and say, all right, that event's over. Now we're going to find out everybody involved in that. But that's going to be the center of our focus. Now what you realize is, nope, there's a much bigger network out there. And in addition to which, we know that there's so many people that are traveling overseas to get to Syria and Iraq. The French intelligence estimate is 600 people. They're currently monitoring over 1,000 people, and this is just in France. Of course, that goes to a question of resources. Do they have enough people to monitor all these individuals? Yeah, because you can't monitor one individual with one individual. If you've right, got absolutely. 600, yeah. you need, what, 10, 20 guys to keep yeah. tabs on? It's always a challenge for folks when, when you've been a fan of the, the show 24 or N, N, NCS or you know, all these different shows that say it can happen like that we've got these camera systems we can track everyone it doesn't work that way and as you correctly pointed out to set up this kind of net of surveillance on an individual takes as much as 11 12 different people if you're doing it in 24 hours now multiply that times thousand targets it's a lot of work and a lot of resources and, and frankly France has never really put that kind of resources towards it and frankly you know the the uh, the abilities that they have shown in using encrypted cell phones right. throwaway cell phones the communications that that authorities have not been able to crack. I mean, we could wake up tomorrow and have another Paris-style massacre. So what, what have we learned? Well, we've learned that, just as you said, their capability, you know, this is not just some ragtag group that's out in the Middle East trying to do their thing and, and take over territory. Nope, they're expanding. They actually have an arm 